Hello my soccer universe for a last one before I go to bed and we'll do the other ones tomorrow. We, I decided oh, let's go uh, and do Eredivisie because there was actually quite something happening and also um, Ligue 1 which had a so and so round but we have a verdict. I'm quite surprised that Lyon, uh, my models better Lyon of all the teams that I have as the biggest winner in terms of, when I, in terms of expected points. When they, yeah, they won away from home at Troyes, but I, this was not necessarily something that I expected. So yeah, but Lyon, it's a really beautiful jersey. I, you have seen it on my channel, so I'm uh, very happy to wear this one. And I would say for once we'll start in France because I want to uh, mention what happens in the Netherlands a little bit later. Um, the first thing is we got a verdict in the Lyon Marseille case, which is basically a repeat of what we had in Nice Marseille. The game will be replayed, three uh, games behind closed doors, and Lyon will get punished by a point. Honestly, I was looking forward to a forfeit, but you know, so uh, be it in this case, then uh, Lyon actually uh, losing another point. It didn't actually change much in the table at the point. Uh, they just stayed ahead of Nantes, uh, but yeah, it's it's definitely hampering them. Uh, and Lyon, anyway, is not in great form. I mean, uh, I saw a little bit of the match against uh, Lille in Lille, and I have to say Lille was largely the better team, and if the goalie didn't have a good uh, showing, I actually think that, um, uh, he, you know, goalie Lopez wouldn't have a good, uh, it would have ended with a little win who had more chances and Lyon just somewhat does not look right and then you hear about the problems you know Janino is the sporting director wants out because he doesn't get along with Peter Bosch mm, Peter Bosch I think is a horrible appointment in any, in, in any case and Lyon is one of those teams that at this moment just doesn't look right in France they have so much potential uh, but there's just something going wrong and I think it's really that the sporting director and the coach do not really fit well together um, I also saw quite some of Rennes Nice. I mean, I was uh, doing some work, but I had the game okay, game on. It was kind of a weird game because Rennes are really the informed team as of late. Uh, really started brightly without creating many chances, but having loads of pressure. And then they give up a penalty that Kasper Dolberg converts in the 19th. And that kind of um, shocked Rennes to a certain degree. They could not get the same grip on, on, the, on, on the game and Nice basically defended well. In the second half, uh, they hit it a very dry count, counter attack. And the way Atal puts the ball into, into, into the net is humorless. They just bang into the net. 2 0. And that was a surprise. But then I have to, have to say, Nice did actually a little bit too little because um, uh, Burigo just a few minutes later gets it 1 2. And then uh, there was really the chance that Ren get an equalizer. But with just bone hard defending, I it's I cannot say it in any other way. Um, they managed to hang on to a pretty big win. Um, speaking of uh, Breton lost at home, uh, Brest uh, streak has snapped. They lost four nil at home to Montpellier, and for the first time they're not scoring this season. So that's a big streak that has been snapped. Gotta be said. Uh, then, uh, you know, everything kind of going Marseille's way, we know, Mar um, PSG far, far, far ahead, but the second spot could be, is, is very much up for grabs. And the way the results were going, it was really Marseille's, uh, to win second spot again. And they do so in, um, Strasbourg with a wonderful goal by Dieng, uh, I think in the 62nd minute already, uh, one that you gotta watch. It's, it's absolutely, uh, worth your time. And then uh, Gelletta Tsar uh, makes the goal, uh, makes the win a uh, reality. And then with the little matter of PSG against Monaco, uh, yeah, what can what, say? Monaco had a pretty big chance at the beginning where they hit the post and then uh, PSG earned a penalty. I think Messi was rightfully brought down in the box. It is 1 0, and then uh, also Messi assists Mbappé with a wonderful goal and it's 2 2 2 0, and PSG having. More chances, more and more, more for more of the game. But the Monaco was not completely outclassed. It did not seem all that cohesive overall. I like the word cohesive as of late. Um, also has to be mentioned PSG playing with gold numbers. I was wondering initially why. Yeah, golden ball for Messi. 
looked a little bit tacky, to be honest. I like the Jordan numbers that they have in the Champions League uh, a little bit better. Speaking, by the way, of Champions League, I think PSG also not entirely happy because uh, I think they would have rather played Manchester United. You saw my video, or if not, watch it on our channel, Champions League draw reaction. But I think um, while there's a lot of... Um, Stores around with PSG and Real Madrid, uh, Kylian Mbappé, Sergio Ramos, and so, 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 Messi against Real, Real Madrid. I think I, I, I personally missed the biggest one. If Manchester United had played PSG, we would have gotten Messi against Ronaldo. Didn't think about this at all, honestly. But yeah. So yeah, PSG get another win and are far ahead of uh, the pack, as I said. Um, and uh, the, uh, but the rest is rather rather open uh, in many ways. I must say now ahead of Rennes, Lille getting back in there. Mono Monaco, Lyon is a team that I think might again miss out, and they need a big rebuild. Uh, to be honest, um, I don't have an upcoming round yet, or, or the fixtures have haven't been fixed yet. I think there's a cup round coming uh, at the uh, midweek weekend. So that's why this hasn't been fixed. I think there's one on the 22nd of January. Going over to the Netherlands. What a round that was. I mean, everything going crazy. Uh, at one point, you thought that all the big three are going to lose at one point. Um, yeah. Feyenoord had the lead against uh, SNC and uh, then Honingen could equalize in the 65th. But the big shocker to me was uh, that uh, winning at Ajax, and probably not even that undeserved Ajax, in the league, they kind of look a little bit so-and-so. It's kind of that they are, now the focus is on the Champions League, and the league will win anyway like that, and that could actually pay uh, big time. They have big ties coming up. There's just before Christmas, there's the Klasika against Feyenoord, and then I think it's the second round after the winter break, they already pay PSV again, and I think those are the two games that probably will put all the eggs in the basket and then maybe see if you can cruise. But against Azet, it they did not look all, all the game. And Pavlidis gave a set the lead. Then uh, Tadic and Alea uh, scored the equalizer, none of which really celebrating. I thought, thought this was weird. And then in the uh, 10 minutes later, uh, Abukal gets the win for Azet. Um, and before I go to the other game, of course, uh, they were recognizing that Max Verstappen controversially has won the Formula One uh, World Championship. It's not something that I really follow. My love for Formula One died with uh, Ayrton Senna in many ways. However, I gotta say, this was rather exciting. And from the little I got, I mean, one lap to go, however, controversial, that was pretty awesome in many, many ways. And so Ajax losing, this means with a win, PSV can take uh, the lead in the table and long time struggle to do so because Nyming uh, found himself up in the eighth minute already and it then took two late goals. Yes, there was a disallowed goal already earlier. I actually thought that PSV will have a hard time because, you know, you had just this hard game, the loss against the Real Sociedad and so on. So uh, it was not a given that you will play again. But uh, they uh, stung it out and were testing in the 80th in the night. Carlos Vinicius gave PSV the win and the lead in the table. So uh, pretty re remarkable. As I said, in the next, it's already on the 19th of December. We have Feyenoord against Ajax. It's the next round this weekend. Pretty big, big, big matchup. I'm absolutely going to mark this one in my calendar. And uh, while PSV are on top, it's one point between the top three. So I'd say they really made this a title race, potentially. Uh, but I are still very much the favorites. So yeah, that was it from me from France and the Netherlands. Please drop a line below what you thought uh, about the half, half happening these leagues. I, I would love to hear from you. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed, this, enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel and see more and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you actually might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and click that little bell, so in order to stay updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe. With that, have a good day!